பல்வேறு தர மக்கள் அனைத்து மொழிகளும் பேசக்கூடியவர்கள் இன்றைக்கு இங்கே சங்கமித்திருக்காங்க ஒன்றரை லட்சம் பேருக்கு வந்து நேரடியாக வந்து வேலை வாய்ப்பை கொடுக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு நகரம் So when I was searching out for a house or residence in Bangalore or either Hosur, I felt Hosur more uh, better. From a nondescript village in the 1970s to one of the most sought after addresses in Tamil Nadu today, Hosur is a phenomenal success story. This city has now grown beyond expectations and beyond its limits but is the city prepared enough to handle the population explosion and the pressures that comes with industrial growth in 1973 hosu was chosen as one of the first industrial hubs in tamil nadu it was promoted by the state industries promotion corporation of tamil nadu which is also known as Sipcot. Sipcot started to acquire acres of land around Husu and created a land bank. This land banks later became industrial estates. In the past five decades, over 3,000 micro, small and medium enterprises have established themselves here along with heavy weights such as Ashok Leyland, TBS Motor Company and Titan Industries. Later, as the city expanded, diverse industries set up shop here, turning it into a multi-industrial hub. In the last few years, the government of India's push towards electric vehicles has brought Osu back into the spotlight. With its 50-year expertise as an automobile and industrial hub, the region was the perfect candidate for an electric vehicle ecosystem challenge. And now Osu is being positioned as the electronic vehicles hub of India. Tamil Nadu government has managed to bring Ola simple energy and ether into this region in a very limited time. These companies chose Hozu to set up their plants despite being headquartered in Bengaluru. Since 2017, Tamil Nadu has attracted investments worth Rs 21,424 crore. Of this, over 9,000 crore is being invested in electronics and 5,539 crores in automobiles, two of the traditional sectors that Hosu has been proud of. The same SIPCO, which helped to set up industries in Hosu, is now developing an industrial innovation center. This center will train students and employees to work in a modern assembly line environment besides equipping them with other skills. Tata, Delta, Vola and the other two uh, companies alone is giving uh, nearly a 1 lakh employment. 1 lakh employment means it's about 1 lakh family. This rapid growth of Hosu as an industrial tech hub has attracted a skilled workforce from across the country. Hosu shares its borders with Bengaluru's IT of Electronic City as well as the Atabele Township and is only 40 kilometers from the city center. Uh, I happened to come to Hosu last year for uh, my son's education as he's studying in Bangalore. So that is the reason I happened to relocate from Neil Greece to Hosur. Cost of living is too high of Bangalore comparing to Hosur, which is in Tamil Nadu. All this has resulted in an exponential rise in Hosur's population. The city's infrastructure is struggling to keep pace with the growth and water scarcity is now a common problem. If you see 
uh, for example, I can just show you a small lake over here. If you see, this is the water which normally we use, but sewage has been mixed up. So that's not healthy. It's not hygienic also. So it would be nice if you have that, you know, diverted, you know, the sewage separately, the drinking water separately. We have all top notch companies over here. So if we can do something for the people who are living here, nothing as good as that. As the city expands, people of Usu feel the need for better infrastructure in terms of housing and in terms of better approach roads from their settlements to the main road that connects Usur with Bangalore and Usur with Chennai. The residents of this industrial town also want a direct train that would connect them with the Tamil Nadu capital of Chennai and also demand an exclusive airport for the city which would not just meet the needs of Usur, but also some parts of Bangalore like Electronic City and other areas in South Bangalore. The people Future level, the, the, the um, population may go uh, up to even or, or, or 15 to 20 lakh. Abdi, and the low end, no or 20 years la paido. If you even like all that, there are the commercial requirement, uh, entertainment, uh, uh, medical facilities. Either all, if we have plan money, master plan la, we have to develop for no building. That, na, we have to come on our side. That, we have to idea about it. The cosmopolitan nature of Asu offers a lot of potential for the Tamil Nadu government to develop it into a truly a business hub. The city has grown leaps and bounds, no doubt. The people's lifestyle has also changed. As the quality of life improved, yes, to an extent, but there is a lot of room for improvement to be made for the residents of Osu. This is Sivapriyan for Deccan Herald from Osu.